Hello and welcome again to Binary News. My name is Marta. Today is the 18th of July and this time I have some news for you from Microsoft as they have unfortunately confirmed that they will be shutting down Xbox Entertainment Studios. Now this will actually signal a cut of a large portion of their studio projects but work on some series including Halo Nightfall and the Atari documentary titled Signal to Noise will both continue as planned so have no fear if you're a fan of either of those projects I don't think anyone would really expect them to cancel Halo Nightfall in particular given that they just announced it at E3 a few weeks ago. Now the Xbox boss, who is of course Phil Spencer, did confirm the news to Xbox Entertainment Studio staff on Thursday in an email. And here I will read it out, courtesy of Game Informer, so thank you to them. And it reads as such, quote, I hope you have had a chance to read today's mails from Satya. I wanted to take a moment to share a few thoughts on what this means for our team, some of the changes we are making as a result. In last week's mail, outlining some of the steps towards creating the culture and organisation to bring our ambitions to life, Satya called out the strategic importance of Xbox as a strong consumer brand, a creative centre for gaming and leader in bold innovation. Every member of Team Xbox should be incredibly proud of the impact and reach your work has had within the walls of Microsoft with our developer community and most importantly with consumers. Microsoft is the productivity and platform company for a mobile-first and cloud-first world. And games are the single biggest digital life category in a mobile-first world. Success in this category by growing a robust Xbox business brings additional value to Microsoft. I have stated this before, but for Xbox to, to be successful, we must remain committed to being a consumer-driven organisation with the mission of meeting the high expectations of a passionate fan base to create the best games and to drive technical innovation. As part of the planned reduction to our overall workforce announced today and in light of our organisation's mission, we plan to stream for, uh, streamline a handful of portfolio and engineering development efforts across exports. One plan is that in the coming months we expect to close Xbox Entertainment Studios. I would like to take this opportunity to recognise the accomplishments from the entire team at XES. Now he did go on for a bit after that but that is pretty much the core of the email there and there were some understandable concerns that Quantum Break might actually be affected by this particular culling as of course it does have a combination of gameplay and live action TV elements. So some people were concerned that this may be affected but no Microsoft have said to Polygon that Quantum Break's development will not be affected so have no fear this weird and intriguing game will still be coming to your Xbox One. Still, a bit of a shame they've had to close Xbox Entertainment. Um, obviously, we're still going to get Halo Nightfall and Signal to Noise, which is great, but it just means that there's going to be no more original programming after that. It's just going to be the end of an era, I think, for a lot of people. And to be honest, I agree with them. It is a bit of an end of an era, and I just think it's a bit of a shame, but I suppose Microsoft know what they're doing, and if it just isn't bringing in the money that they need to make it worth the cost, then I suppose it has to go. Maybe we can have it back in later years, but for the moment we have to say goodbye, and a tear-felt, heartfelt goodbye to Xbox Entertainment. Anyway guys, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.